this week uh, in the handyman corner. We're going to show you how to uh, how to refinish furniture, and it's kind of a kind of a new technique that we're using here. Now, ordinarily, when uh, I was going to refinish, say, a beautiful old chair like this, uh, I would take just an ordinary dinner knife and uh, just kind of you know get that paint and what have you off of there. Um, the problem with that is it. It does uh, create the occasional blemish uh, on the furniture, and it, it makes dinner taste funny. Uh, now, the alternative that most people go with is some sort of a chemical uh, stripper. Uh, don't ever say that around old man Sedgwick. Uh, but we don't like to use the, the chemicals uh, up, at, up at the lodge because uh, one time, uh, Stinky Peterson uh, stripped down the two holer, uh, and uh, he hasn't been able to think of anything that happened between 1985 and 1987. So uh, what we like to use, and I think the best way to take a finish off of furniture is uh, one of those heat guns, uh, which will uh, cost you actually up to about 40 bucks. But we have a way around that. Uh, I'm sure everybody has a few uh, hair dryers lying around the house. Uh, you know, one in the kids' room, one in the, in, the, in the daughter's room, one in the wife's room, maybe one in the grandmother's room, one in your own room. Maybe you use them to dry the baby's bottom or whatever. Uh, what you do is you get about six of these together, and then you get an old uh, broken down uh, hockey stick like this. Uh, no, this is, a, this is actually a good hockey stick. Well, I don't want to use a, a good hockey stick for this. <laughs> there. Okay, now uh, we got the hockey stick, and uh, what we do is uh, we attach the, uh, the hair dryers uh, to the stick using uh, the handyman's secret weapon. Duct tape. <laughs> all right, well, we got her all set here, and I got them all kind of generally pointing the same direction. Now, uh, the problem I could run into is these are about uh, 1,500 watts uh, power each, and we got six of them. So there's, uh, there's uh, I guess, over seven or 8,000 uh, watts of power there, which is too much for your normal uh, household circuit. So uh, what I done was I took the fuse out and uh, replaced it with a nickel. Uh, works great, only costs five cents. So anyway, uh, we'll, we'll pick this baby up and we're ready to show you how it works on the chair. All right, you want to hit the power there? The chair uh, maybe doesn't need as much as uh, the workbench. We can use it on the workbench. Well, you get the idea. So, so remember, until next time, you want to kill the power. Until next time. You can't be a handsome man, you can be a handyman or, or something like that.